all twerking like Molly. Oh yeah, twerking like Molly. Don't pop it like Molly. Yeah. Start twerking like Molly. Ivy, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed um, the first of a new series I'm coming out with. Um, it's like my festival series and I love wearing bright crazy makeup and most people would only wear it to a festival so that's why I'm going to do a whole series of festival looks. So it's just like a smoked out cool tone smoky eye. It started as a glitter liner thing and I sneezed and got the glitter everywhere. So then I just ended up doing like a glitter lid and a really bright highlight. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe below and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at IAM19. So if you wanna learn how I did this look, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so now that I have you guys really zoomed in, you can see all the powder that's underneath my eyes. It's not gonna stay like that. Um, it's just gonna catch any um, fallout that I get from all the dark shadows I'm about to use. This look is gonna be really smoky and dramatic, so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with my eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and first of all, just brush them over today, because I um, we are doing that more dramatic kind of an eye. I'm gonna do a more dramatic eyebrow. I'm just gonna start in the inner corner, which is kind of opposite of what I normally do, but it's because I'm doing that kind of ombre eyebrow. So I'm gonna start with the lighter color on the inner corner. So I'm just gonna start off by kind of drawing this on. You don't wanna have like a blocked out eyebrow on the inner corner, so, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put my brush up like this and then rub it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush and I'm gonna run through this all and start brushing out that pomade. And then I like to brush upwards as well. So I'm gonna go ahead with that darker color and start filling in the tail end of my brow. Go ahead and brush it all out. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna, I like to say carve out my eyebrows cause I'm literally like carving them out. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about. Go in and sharpen up that tail. Kind of see how I'm doing that? And I'm gonna go ahead and carve out this situation. So now you can see how like sharp that eyebrow has gotten. Um, so next, my favorite primer, one of them, um, I do use an eyeshadow primer. Um, that's really gonna help your eyeshadows be more true to their color and it's gonna help them stay on a lot longer and not crease. My favorite one is actually the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So go ahead and I just use my fingers for this. It's the easiest and the fastest and go ahead and kind of put it on your eyes and you wanna make sure it blends all over because if part of your eye has this on and part of your eye doesn't have it on, that's gonna be a bad situation. So I'm gonna be using the um, Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. And you can see it's all mattes, which is like my favorite. So first I'm just gonna go in, since I have a yellow undertone to my skin, with this yellowish color right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and I'm gonna set my whole um, primer on my eye. So like, um, just like a general rule for makeup, Powders blend better with powders. Creams blend better with creams. <laughs> um, so I'm putting a lot of this like skin colored powder all over my eyes because I want everything on top of it. Like I said, it's gonna be really dark colors. Um, so I want everything on top of this to blend out really well. I'm gonna start building up the color in my crease. So I'm just gonna go in with kind of this lighter gray. It's kind of like a taupey gray. That's what, that's what we'll call it. So this taupey color, and I'm gonna go right above kind of where my eyelid is. Just start building that up. You see that? So really slowly gonna build up this color. I'm going in with this darker gray color right there. So literally just going back and forth and darkening this. So I'm going in with MAC Silver Sun. It's one of their extra dimension. I forgot what it was called for a second and I worked there. So I'm just gonna go ahead on the back of my hand that's full of product, but ignore that. Literally just watch. Like, are you kidding me? I don't wanna put that all over my face. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that all over my lid. Applying this with your fingers works really well also. Like when you apply stuff with your fingers, it really goes on intensely. I just have too fat of fingers to do that. 
I'm just gonna go back in and start smoking this out. And of course, one of my eyes is always more smoked out than the other one. I am going to mix that dark color with this black and start to just deepen out my outer corner right here. So of course I use a white brush to do this, the like messiest part, obviously. So you see how I kind of like dab the product on and then swirl out? And I go between having my eyes closed and my eyes open. So then what I've learned, since we are gonna go in with kind of like a double um, glitter liner, what I'm gonna do before my glitter liner is do a rough sketch of what is going to be my actual liner. Once the glitter dries, it's hard to like put a gel liner over it. It gets like chunky and in your way and ruins your life. Okay, dirty as hell. But literally the MAC 210, do you see this? Do you see how tiny this is? I suck at putting on gel liners. It makes everything so much easier to put on. So the way you want to put on gel liner, chin up, eyes down, looking into your mirror, like this. And like I said, this is the rough kind of trial version just so I don't put my glitter liner right on top of that. But you see how like small of a line I can do? And I have really small eyelids. Like really, really friggin' small. Like I said, this is a very rough liner just so I don't get glitter all up in there. Okay, so I kind of just toss on a rough liner. As you can see, one's longer than the other one, one's thicker than the other one, like it's fine. I just wanna get an idea of what I want to put my glitter liner above. I'm going in with two from um, the Urban Decay's Heavy Metal collection. One is called Distortion and one is called Amp. So Amp's like bluish and Distortion. I don't even know. It's like a bunch of different colors, I guess. And I kind of dab it on. And now I'm taking um, Distortion, that lighter color, and I'm putting that in the inner corner. So this kind of like reflects green. So after you have your glitter liner on, go ahead, fix everything. You kind of have to go over it once or twice if there is any glitter chunks, because I really get in the way and like ruin your life. The only lashes that I have are some natural lashes by Ardell and a pair of old Demi Wispies from Ardell that I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stack these two lashes and see how that turns out. It's not what I envisioned with this glitter look, but we're gonna make it work. Like, do you see how small these are? I think I've ever even worn these because they're so small. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on off camera. Um. Okay guys, so when I went to put on my lashes, my camera died. So I just went ahead and finished up my foundation off camera. In the next few days or so, I'm gonna be posting an entire foundation routine for you guys. So um, just do your foundation how you normally would. I'm going to write down all the products in the link or the bio below so you can know what I used and stuff for my highlight. And then as for my lips, I just went ahead and went in with a Rimmel lip liner and this is in the shade 32 Innocent. And then over top of that, I used Max Smith lipstick and then I went over that with a light pink lip gloss from NYX. Start twerking like Miley. Like Molly, start talking like Molly.